this afternoon, Miss Croft. Fine, thank you. Miss Croft, there's a bit of a joke about the word fine in psychiatry, that it often stands for feelings inside not expressed. Hmm, I thought jokes were supposed to be funny. Would you say you have control issues, Lara? Doesn't everyone? I mean, no one wants to feel out of control, do they? But not everyone has been through what you have. And did you enjoy taking control? You mean killing, don't you? Did I enjoy killing? I did it because I had no choice. I had to take control of the situation. That's the third time you've mentioned Jonah today. You've been spending a great deal of time with him. He's one of the few people who understands what I went through. I worry that only spending time with him might not be healthy for you. Oh, really? Care to explain? He's a reminder of the past. You're going back to the island in your head over and over again, to the exclusion of everything else. Jonah makes me feel like myself, and he doesn't charge an hourly rate. Tell me more about the dreams. Nightmares. And I, I don't remember them, just the feelings that remain. Tell me about those feelings. I'm on the island and my friends are dying. There's nothing I can do and it's all my fault. Lara, from what you've told me, your friends survived the island because of you. Only a few of them. None of them would have survived if you hadn't been there. It's not your fault. None of them would have been there if it wasn't for me. Of course it's all my fault. Ah. Guilt is a common driver in the Croft family. We used it to great effect with her father. Let's see where it takes Lara. Anna thinks she knows me. And maybe she does on some level, but she doesn't know everything. And as long as she continues to underestimate me, I might still have the upper hand. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's Perspective here and I actually wanted to do an introduction of a series that is coming to my channel. In this series is Tomb Raider and in this series we're actually going to be looking at the new trilogy. Since Tomb Raider rebooted in 2013 many people have played it and some people like the new Tomb Raider and some people don't. But we're actually going to look deep into the series. On surface value, many people like this game. Some don't. But just how everybody can walk. Only some people can swim. And just because you can swim doesn't mean you know how to dive. Just because you can dive doesn't mean that you're necessarily willing to dive somewhere to find something that you might not even know is there. Something of value. So just as that analogy is, we're going to dive into the series and we're going to see how well the games are composed. Games are composed, I would say, in general, out of three parts. The story, the gameplay and mechanics, and then the execution of the gameplay and mechanics. So we're going to look into all of that to see how well everything was composed. Is this game just a flat sheet of ice? Or is it an iceberg? Is the main character static throughout the series? Or is the character dynamic? We'll also see, did we see everything that the developers wanted us to see? Or did we miss some things, key points that were crucial to understanding the game as a whole? So, I will be doing a retrospect of the three games in the new trilogy. And I hope you guys come along for the series to see the content that these games have. 
part one of the series is actually already complete and it is linked below in the description. It's perspective here and I will see you guys in the series.